guys, we're here at Gun For Hire at the Woodland Park Range. We're getting out of the office today and we're gonna have a little bit of fun and show you some lights. We're going to look at all of the pistol lights that we currently offer and a few options that you can also mount to an AR platform. And before we start this video, since this is a weapon light video, we gotta give one away. So I'm going to give away this PL Mini 2. Again, all you have to do is make sure you're subscribed to this channel like this video and put one comment down below on what is your favorite weapon light that Olight has to offer. Now with that said, let's get into the video. Now the first weapon lights that we're going to talk about is the PL2 and the PL Pro. Now one of the biggest differences between these two is the PL2 actually has removable batteries. It takes two CR123A batteries, so if you prefer to be able to remove and change out your batteries, obviously the PL2 is what you want to go with. Also, the PL2 features 1200 lumens. It only has one mode, so just keep in mind, you're gonna have to use it at 1200 lumens, but it also has a constant on and a momentary on, plus a strobe mode when you do a quick pinch on both sides of the switch. Another big difference is the actual beam of both of these. Not only is the PL Pro 300 lumens more than the PL2, but the PL2 might actually appear more bright than the PL Pro because this is a super cool white beam compared to the more neutral white beam on the PL Pro. So it's really up to you what you would prefer to have on your weapon. Just keep in mind, cool white does appear to be brighter, but it can wash out color. So for me, for a weapon light, I typically prefer more of a neutral white tone like the PL Pro because you're getting a more true representation of what you're shining the light at. And with that extra 300 lumens, it's still going to be super bright. So now let's go ahead and shoot with both of these and show you those differences between the beams. Now, as you can see in those clips, the PL2 is drastically more cool white than the PL Pro. So now we're gonna take a look at the next step, which is the Balder Pro. This is also going to have more of a neutral white style beam. So you're gonna notice that the beam of the Balder Pro is pretty close to the PL Pro, even though the Balder Pro is 1,350 lumens compared to the 1,500 lumens of the PL Pro. But the biggest difference is the fact that this has the green laser. And also this has removable batteries. So again, you're using two CR123As, just like the PL2. And again, the PL Pro is rechargeable and it uses our magnetic charging system. So let's go ahead now and take a look at the Balder Pro and how it compares to not only the PL Pro, but the PL2 as well. One thing that 
I really liked about the Balder Pro was how easy it was to sight it in. This is the first time that we put it on the CZ, and it actually only took us a few minutes to get it dead center. Let's now take a look at the PL Mini 2. Now this light is revolutionary, not only due to the fact that it is 600 lumens in such a small size, but it also has an adjustable rail where it can be custom fit to your select firearm as long as it actually has a rail on the gun. This actually works with subcompact guns. So if you have something concealed carry, even appendix carry, it'll work great with that and you're barely gonna notice that it's there. So let's go ahead and take a look at how bright this tiny little light is and also compare it to the PL Pro, the PL2. have the targets at 50 yards and I'm gonna show you the M2R Pro and then afterwards we'll show the Warrior X Pro and how they differ. So right here I've got the M2R Pro and you can see that it does have a rather large hot spot. It does show up the targets really well. So at 50 yards you can still see the targets exceptionally well um, but just keep in mind with the M2R Pro you are gonna have a larger hot spot. The hotspot itself um, is basically taking up this entire uh, well here um, and we will show you the Warrior X Pro and how much tighter of a beam that one is. But just keep in mind you are getting a good amount of flood with the M2R Pro but also you are getting a nice distance as well. So it's kind of the best of both worlds with this M2R Pro. Now here we have it, the Warrior X Pro and you can see that the actual hotspot itself is definitely a lot more intense. Uh, right on those targets. So you're definitely getting a little bit tighter hot spot here and you can see the Warrior X Pro is definitely a brighter light as well. Definitely a more intense higher candela type beam. So let's go back and forth just a little bit. So here is the M2R Pro and again you're getting that larger hot spot so it's basically the same amount of intensity going around the entire large circle there that you see on the screen. And then also here, we'll show the Warrior X Pro, and you can see that it's much more intense in the very center, and then kind of slowly fades out. So M2R Pro, you're getting that defined, pretty uniform intensity, larger circle. And then the Warrior X Pro, you're getting that really high intensity in the very center, and then slowly fades out. Guys, thank you so much for coming to shoot with us at Gun For Hire at the Woodland Park Range. I hope you enjoyed this video. Hopefully this comparison of all of our current pistol lights and also a couple of our lights that are compatible with rifles really shows you guys the differences in not only the way that they work, but the performance as well. If you'd like to see more details about these lights, please check out our website, olightstore.com, which has all of the technical specs, and you can also make a purchase there as well. Please also subscribe to this channel, like this video, and put one comment down below on what is your favorite weapon light to enter to win a PL Mini 2. We will announce the winner of the PL Mini 2 during next week's video. Thanks a lot, guys. We appreciate it. Hopefully, you enjoyed seeing us get out of the office, and we'll see you on the next video. <laughs> this is every time. This is every time. I know. I know.